And that person was Ronnie. Come up to the front, Ronnie. So next week, Ronnie is going to do some work with me and Mrs. Lambert, and we're going to put his words and his music together to make another school song. Shall we see if anybody else can step up to this challenge, Ronnie? I'll give you another week. To see if anybody else can put our school green family values together into a song. And then hopefully we will have three songs. We'll have the one I did, we'll have the one that Ronnie's done, and we'll have a third one that we can listen to in assembly and learn those. So put your hand up, let's check for me. Who's going to put their hand up to do the challenge? They've got all the way till next week, look at all those hands. So let's hope we get some more. But for you, Ronnie, you have got effort level five from me for doing that. So can we give Ronnie a round of applause, please? <laughs> now let's find out who has achieved some of our Green Family Values this week. And we are going to start with Barnowls. Yeah. And this person has been showing all of their class friends and all of their grown-ups how to be Parker Polite and Wesley works hard and it's not just a one time they've done this it is every day that they are showing their grown-ups how to be polite and how to demonstrate Wesley works hard and that person is Willow so I've got to lift up Willow going to join Willow up at the front, so we'll have a little look in squirrels to see which person, thank you, to see which person's going to join us. This person has shown Wesley works hard in their class, and this person yesterday very much impressed me with their Wesley works hard skills, specifically in their English. This person did not give up. This person definitely was one of our as they were resilient. And that person was Quinn. Well done, Quinn. <laughs> now, from Badgers, who's joining us? This is another pack of polite. Very impressive to read that this person every day is always using their manners and remembers to always say please when asking for something and thank you when they are given what they've asked for and that person is Eve. Well done Eve. All our green family values in this final Now, our stars of the week, they are children who have been trying their, their hardest every single week on their own personal goals, their own personal targets. And to help you with those, we make sure that we teach you the skills to be our three R's. 
Anybody think they can remember the three R's? I did just say one of them about Quinn's work. Go on then, Ruben. Perfect. Those three R's will make sure that you achieve whatever your personal targets are. And we're going to start with barn owls. And this person's personal target is always showing that they are respectful. So they have got one of their R's already ticked off. And they are being respectful, not just because they're showing who listens, but they're looking after all the property in their classroom and making sure it doesn't get damaged or ruined. And that person is Isa. Where is Isa? Where's Isa? school and 
Three people in Badger's class must be exhausted because no one else has brought any sporting achievements yet apart from Badger. So we'll save the clap till the end. So put those hands under your bottoms. And we'll have Eden come up to the front and join me, Eden. Up to the front, Eden. Louis, up to the front. And Eastern, up to the front, please. There you go, Eden. There you go, Louis. There you go, Eastern. Eden, using your loud voice, you want to tell everybody what your sport and achievement is. So we've gone past the level up to stage three, but the important thing is it's stage three swimming, isn't it? So that means every level you go up, you're getting stronger and better within your swimming skills, which is brilliant. Louis, it says football. Tell us a little bit more. What have you achieved? Have you played a special match? That's an achievement, isn't it? Getting man of the match for your game. Brilliant. And Eden, your, uh, sorry, Eastern, your Saints football. Do you want to tell them a little bit more? Did you achieve something special? Was it a game that you played? Did you get man of the match as well? You won your team winning the match, did they? Brilliant. Can we give our sporting achievement? Oh! 